Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to continue my series discussing the new miniseries on HBO, Chernobyl. So, like you saw in my previous video, I really enjoyed the premiere of this show. I thought it was very well made, and I have to say, I think the second episode might be even better than the first. So while the first episode revolved mostly around the initial disaster and the initial response by the firefighters and the workers on site, the second episode is starting to revolve more around damage control and how the Soviet government wants to cover up this event, not let it get out. Scientists are working behind the scenes trying to figure out how to answer this with conflicting ideas, really trying to assess just how bad this situation is. In this episode, we get a little bit more of a performance from Jared Harris, who you saw initially in the first episode, kind of seeing where his story arc was going to end up in this series. And I have to say, I think he did an excellent job. He's always been a pretty good actor. And I think in this one, this is going to be a really good role for him. I could see that this show could potentially be getting nominations from, you know, Emmys, Golden Globes. It's just so well shot, so well written. The atmosphere they create is such a gut punch. And it, it, it's, the execution is just excellent on this show. And as far as the atmosphere on the show, like I talked about in the first episode, I didn't really get to touch on the score. I think the score is one of the best assets that the show has going for it, as well as the cinematography. They have this humming, swelling, orchestral, just eerie sound that hovers over a lot of the very intimidating parts of the show. When you're seeing that this power plant is releasing all this radiation, people don't know what's going on. You get these eerie, abandoned looks at Chernobyl that most people see as very iconic. In this episode, you do actually see the evacuation when they start to realize that things are really bad, really, really, really terrible. And I think that scene, I think those scenes in particular with the sirens and then having the announcements being played over, the very ominous hum and all the people having to be uprooted, the soldiers. And there are some really like just impactful moments in this episode, like I said. One in particular for me was a part with a dog. You may not have caught it, but that part, just seeing people being uprooted, just seeing how bad things got and how quickly things escalated and they didn't realize what they were doing and just the just the mismanagement of everything was just incredible. Like, it, it, you couldn't believe that something like this could happen. And they even referenced in the episode, nothing like this has ever happened before. This is one of the worst events in the history of mankind. And in this episode, they dive into almost how it could have been so much worse than it was, even as horrible as it was. It, it's just, honestly, it's, it's incredibly well done to tell this story. It's obviously a dramatization. Some of the characters and some of the individuals in the story are created for this, the purpose of entertainment. But at its core, it's getting at the real things that were happening, the real issues that led to this getting so out of hand. And it's just so compelling. It's so As someone who's interested in history and who really appreciates well-done cinematography and well-done storytelling, it, it, they just knocked out of the park with this, this whole series. I think it's excellent, and I hope it continues to be excellent. And another part I want to touch on, it's not totally spoilery, but towards the end of the episode, there is a scene involving some individuals trying to get into the power plant, fix an issue, in the water and it is so well executed. Any of this episode, it just puts your heart in your throat. You're just, it, everything about it is meant to ratchet up the tension to 11 and they executed it so well. So like in the first episode, I give this one a big thumbs up. I think it's excellent. I can't believe that this series is so good. I didn't expect it to be this good. I was obviously interested in it, but I think that with you know the mixed response that Game of Thrones is beginning this season, HBO really has just an amazing show on their hands and I hope people start to watch it. It looks like it's become more popular. People are starting to catch on to it. And I think once Game of Thrones ends you'll see more people jumping on the bandwagon and watching the show but definitely recommend it. If you haven't watched it check it out. If you have the ability to see it on HBO definitely recommend watching it. All right guys thanks for watching and I appreciate the support I got for the first episode reviewing it. I didn't really know how reviewing a TV show would go but you guys have really had some great comments and some you know, great viewership on it. And I just really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.